What's up guys? Um, so I was in the midst of cooking my world famous Balboa fries, uh, basically homemade French fries. I've told a lot of people about them um, and they're super simple to make and I was just uh, getting ready, to, I was prepping these things and I was thinking I'll, I'll just shoot a quick video show you guys how to make it because it's super simple and uh, everybody that I've ever you know treated these to has been a big fan of them. So Literally all I've done so far is a you gotta buy the potatoes, um, so I just buy organic russet potatoes, um, and then I just rinse them all off, and I cut them uh, into quarters basically. So you cut it in half down down the middle, and then cut it in half again. So going long way, so that way you get nice long fries. If you get a really thick potato, you could cut it uh, you know again if you need to. Um, you know, personal preference of kind of how you want them. Um, I just kind of leave it like this. Um, so rinse them all off, cut them up. Um, and now all we got to do, if I set the camera up here, there we go, that works. Um, we're going to take an oil. So I'm going to use uh, avocado oil here. Um, you can use, I've used grapeseed oil most of the time in the past. Um, but any good cooking oil, um, so avocado is a good cooking oil, uh, grapeseed oil is a good cooking oil, Jesus fuck, the f figures, you know, I go live on a freaking camera and I get the wrapper from hell, they give me no tab, no tab to pull this bitch from. Okay, so avocado oil, like I said, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, um, you know, are good cooking oils. Um, you could even use, holy shit, now this cap ain't coming off. You've got to be kidding me right now. What a disaster. How is this even possible? Ugh. Perseverance. Um, so I'm just going to take this oil and I'm going to drizzle it. You know, not a ton. Just gonna drizzle it over the fries. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mix it all up to kind of coat each fry and the pan with the oil, like so. So that way when we season it, the seasoning will kind of stick to the fries. And it'll keep them from sticking on the pan. So I don't put no tin foil down or anything like that. Um, so we got these guys nice and coated, nice and easy. Get the hands off. So now with seasoning, all we do, start with some salt, pink Himalayan salt. Can't have fries without salt. Go with some thyme, thyme leaves. Get a nice dusting of those guys. And then lastly, Italian seasoning. Hence the name Balboa fries. Get a nice dusting of the Italian seasoning. And I've never done this before, but today I'm gonna do some rosemary. Never done it before. Um, you can leave this part out, um, but you know, that's how you that's how you cook, man. You gotta experiment sometimes. So I'm just trying some rosemary. Seemed like a decent uh, seasoning to try on fries. So that's it, guys. So you put that on. Seasonings, and now this is what you're looking at here. So, you got your coated fries here, and you put them in the oven uh, 
for about 35 to 40 minutes at 375, 375 degrees. Uh, and they come out, man, they're ready to go. That's it, that's it. That's uh, the, the C. Roy world famous Balboa fries. So um, homemade French fries, they're good for you. There's nothing here that's gonna set you back uh, and they're delicious, man. So give that a shot, let me know how you like it. Look at that. Money.